And we find ourselves in one of the great football cities, Liverpool, here at Goodison Park. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Everton, and they face Brentford. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. Jibril Sidibe plays with Jordan Amavi in the fullback positions. Abdoulaye Dukure plays alongside Alan in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Well, for Everton, they had a tough fixture last time out and could only manage a draw against Liverpool. What do you expect to see this time, Stuart? Well, Derek, they've looked great all season and deserve to be top. But this is when the pressure will be on them. If they can stay relaxed, play with the same energy and keep everybody fit, they're my favourites for the title. Johan Wieser. Here's Nurgard. Pinnock. Christian Nurgard. No danger here as he runs at them. Jensen. Good work from Everton to win the ball back. Can they take the lead here? An important challenge, but he's got to score! And a goal from James Rodriguez. The Colombian nets the first goal of this contest. Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. So, underway again here, 1-0 the score. Cuts it back and blocked for now. Jensen. Tony. Well, couldn't keep it. James Rodriguez. And Everton pushing forward with options available. He will be. And it's with CD Bay. Will he find the net? Pivotal moment defensively. Onyeka. And nearing the break, Everton hold the edge here. Time for your assessment of what you've seen from them in the first 45. Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going in at half-time if it stays like this. Will he play it in? Uncomfortable in dealing with the ball played in. Really fine initial touch. This looks promising from Everton. But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. It's got to be! Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks 
We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, advantage Everton after the first 45, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. Richarlison. Alan. It's with Ducure. James Rodriguez. Oh, could be. No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? Well, this is quite the story, one that we've seen covered in the newspapers and on television. Emeric Laporte could well be on his way to Inter, Stewart. Well, the reported bid is around £80 million, which is par for the course, I would say, for a player of his quality. It's just a case of whether City think that's enough to prize him away. Everton moving the ball forward with purpose. James. Richarlison. And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two-goal lead now. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect goalkeepers to save everything at their near post, but on this occasion, although it's a good strike, he should do better. Well, a second goal for them here. Jensen. Ivan Toni. And great work to confuse the defender. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Well, they were very patient, but they no longer have the ball. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. I'm delighted to say more Premier League action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Everton facing Arsenal. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game. Oh, they game. could finish here, Stuart. And it goes! The lead just gets bigger. Surely they can't let slip now well this is a very tidy finish as you can see he's under so much pressure but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly it's an excellent goal Time for a change then. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3 0 now. Number 17, Alex Lowe. To be replaced by number 14, Andros Townsend. Tony. Christian Nurgard. Pinnock. Ortega. Here's Nurgard. Christopher Ayer. Onyeka. Don't forget we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Brentford taking on Leeds United. And what a game that will be. Two good teams in a great stadium. I'm really looking forward to that one. And take it away. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Oh, lovely ball. Can he keep his composure? Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, here's the replay. The pass over the top has just the right amount of pace on it. And then just look at the finish, Derek. He reads the flight perfectly and absolutely smashes it beyond the goalkeeper. There's just no stopping that. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Six, 
Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. And a scoring update to bring you from the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Who has found the net? Alex Scott. It's a goal for Spurs. They've scored the opener with 79 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Oh, he's through here. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Just not a particularly good corner there. Christopher Ayer. Josh Da Silva. This looks interesting. Will he find the net? And he quartered the attack with a masterful tackle. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. Christopher Ayer. Da Silva. Mbermo. And he's beaten him here. And now it is final as the referee blows the whistle and Everton get maximum points from this game. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively and almost cutting through at will at times. The result never much in doubt, if I'm honest.